It's an annual tradition around here, our thanks and giving series about the amazing work done at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. This week, we're looking at success stories from the patients we've profiled over the years. Today's Jenna Bush Hager has one incredible story. I Jenna, do. good morning. Good morning. This is one of my favorite series. And six years ago, we introduced you to Sean Coleman, a top athlete. Well, since then, St. Jude not only saved his life, but also kept its desire to play professional football alive. 24-year-old Sean Coleman has known the meaning of the word champion before even his first game in the NFL. Today, he's living his dream as an offensive tackle for the Cleveland Browns. It was a very satisfying feeling. I mean, this is something I had been working for since I was five years old playing football. He's already won his biggest battle, far more challenging than anything on the field. It's definitely a blessing to be here, man. It's, it's a great opportunity. There was a time the thought of football seemed like a blessing that would never be his. I first found out something was wrong. I had a real bad flu, so we kind of just went to the doctor from there, and they did a couple of tests, and, uh, you know, we find out there and there, so. Six years ago, Sean was a top-recruited high school athlete. After accepting a scholarship at football powerhouse Auburn University, he found out he had cancer. It was crazy. It was pretty scary, I mean, not knowing, you know, what it could do. Sean had acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is the most common cancer in childhood. The survival rate is over 95%. If you're talking about teenagers, their outcome is not as good as kids. Sean's parents took him to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for treatment. And although they kept his spot on the team, his dreams were put on hold. I had to go through treatment for like three and a half years, and I sat out of football for about two and a half years. Those years didn't stop the heart of this champion. Throughout treatment, Sean continued to work hard, believing one day he would make it to the NFL. Doctors at St. Jude made every effort to get Sean back in the game. As soon as the treatment was over and the central line was removed. You allowed him to go back and play football? Yes, and he was ready. Yeah, when I first got the green light to start playing again, it was very exciting to be back out there with my teammates. I can't even explain how I felt the first time I was out there on the field. Sean succeeded on and off the field, earning both a bachelor's and master's degree while playing. Going into college, I wanted to get as much as I could out of it. You know, it worked out really good. Sean became an inspiration to other kids at St. Jude, like 17-year-old Nicholas London, a six foot five NBA hopeful who also had leukemia. How much does this friendship mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, let's put it this way. I feel my road to recovery would have been a lot harder. There have been a lot more times where I've been like, man, I feel like giving up without him. After graduating last year, Sean entered the NFL draft. I knew it was time for me to, you know, make a transition to, you know, an elite level of football. And Sean knew there was nowhere more important to be on draft day. He was at St. Jude when he received the call that he'd been waiting for most of his life. When they called me, I was very excited. The kids were excited. It was a, the opportunity for them to see they can always pursue their dreams just like I did. Wow. Marlo Thomas is the National <laughs> Outreach Director for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Marlo, good morning. And what a recovery. Isn't it great? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's really because St. Jude leads the way in three ways. And working together, that's what's made this happen. Because first is the diagnosis. We, we map the, the genome, the, the healthy genome, as well as the cancer genome. And then we find out, we, we therapy, we, we trigger that therapy, especially for that child. What, are you stopping me already? No, we're oh. just going to, I don't want you to get cut off here oh. but it is an extraordinary story well he wouldn't be on the field today if it wasn't for the fact that that we that the treatments he didn't have any radiation we stopped radiating children with uh, with, with leukemia and we only use the chemo he wouldn't be playing today if it wasn't for that such great work it is. and can I just say <laughs> yes happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. we're gonna have much more on this story throughout the week and also a preview of the Thanksgiving Day Parade right after your local news. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.